Hi everybody, Alex Deploy from Expert Forex and uh, welcome to today's webinar. We're going to be talking about the Grid Trend Multiplier. It's This is a basic marketing overview uh, and also at the same time I'm happy to take support questions for existing uh, owners. Please send your questions through, it will help me and guide me through uh, the uh, talk that we're going to be uh, having and uh, yes let's I think let's move on see we've got a nice uh, full room today and some very uh, w very well-known names in the room and I can also see that a few people have um, attended most of the webinars that, uh, that that have been done in the last while I think today's uh, the, this week's going to be quite heavy on webinars there's a must probably about six or five or six planned for to, for this uh, uh, week. Uh, the other thing is that this uh, webinar is an exact, or well, it, it won't be because I don't really follow a script, so uh, this webinar will be, um, the contents of this webinar will be the same as the previous webinar presented uh, last week. Uh, so if you have attended that, uh, it's uh, unlikely that there will be a massive amount of new material coming out. Uh, okay, so uh, we're going to be talking about the grid trend multiplier, which is a, a quite a unique, uh, it's a trading tool and uh, it, it can be used uh, for a random trading and also uh, for specific directional trading, but I'll go into that in a little bit more detail. Uh, uh, what I'd like to do is just work through the, um, the a website to make sure that everybody knows what resources are available in respect of this particular uh, trading technique and EA and um, I think the, 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 the first thing that I want to look at is uh, investment accounts um, if you are too busy to um, trade this particular technique um, uh, and which is um, the, the the PAM service is basically based on the random trading technique. If you're too busy or you, you don't have a VPS service or you don't want to have a VPS service, uh, then certainly you can join the um, uh, PAM service, which is basically linking your account to uh, trades that we make. And uh, we start a new investment group every two or three weeks. Uh, the next one will start next Monday and uh, the minimum is $400 and you can uh, join that particular group and have your account traded on a nice set and forget basis. Uh, some of the, uh, the uh, we've had two uh, groups that have started, um, the one on the 19th of May, um, again you can access this information directly from the website, um, you can see is doing reasonably well, it, it is profitable, uh, trading about 50 uh, $50,000 there, it's nicely profitable. Um, it, it, it has built up a nice blanket of open trades and this will also make a little bit more sense as we move on, but you need a, a blanket of open trades to um, to uh, trade this uh, technique quite uh, uh, quite well and uh, at the moment after two weeks the blanket of open trades is being paid for by a, a, a cash in transactions that we've already made. So this 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 particular one is is going pretty well. And I'll also show you the the, the other one which hasn't been as fortunate. Um, that one um, um, incurred a very very strong uh, trend. It was doing pretty well as you can see. Then a huge trend uh, 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 happened, and we had to cash in some of the open deals to protect. The, um, the account and it is now back in nicely positive the account is uh, but we still need to pay for the open deals that exist at the moment but at the moment things are going pretty well with this account for so, uh, strangely enough in that uh, yesterday alone there was over one one and a half thousand dollars cashed in on this uh, roughly forty thousand dollar account all make a lot more sense. Both of these are on the random non-directional basis which means we actually go into a buy and a sell at the same time and um, I'll explain that in a little bit more detail and we'll come back to that. Then on the website we've also got videos that uh, cover 
most of the aspects of uh, grid trading. These videos are not uh, password protected or anything like that, so they are open to owners as well as non-owners. So they can they have a bit of training in them, but also uh, supply more um, information. We also have a, a, a quite a detailed course which consists of videos and articles and um, and again the, the this course is not password protected so even if you haven't if you don't own the EA you can actually come and have a look at how it works and and, and, and how you need to manage it before you actually buy the, um, the, uh, the course we also have some suggested settings um, and uh, you can click on that and actually get some uh, su suggested settings based on the currencies that you use and the and uh, grid sizes. Again, I'm using terms that we'll talk about uh, um, la uh, later on. Uh, question that came in: Why is the equity less than the balance? Uh, because uh, uh, initially, and and that's quite normal uh, in the first, uh, um, I would say two. In the in the in the first three to four weeks, what the, the uh, we're, we're not focusing on profit during that period. We actually focus on building up a a um, stock of open trades. Uh, um, and let me thanks for that question. I'll just uh, go back to there was a question about um, why is the equity, uh, and I, I'm actually going to use this account because I want to give you an idea of. of talking about open trades the open uh, right, orders open trades so you can see all, all the details of the, the trades that are happening right now so this particular blanket of open trades has has two buy two, two buy open trades and about seven uh, um, seven uh, open sells and what happens is the price this is in this particular price range the price goes up and down up and down in this price range and just cashes in all, all the time and I'll explain that also in a little bit more detail um, and we need that kind of blanket so the price can just uh, we, uh, while it's in this range it will just print money it's literally printing money at no cost because it's uh, we've already paid for this blanket of, of open trades so sometimes uh, some techniques uh, so sometimes um, uh, 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 the blanket, as I say, or, or, or um, open trades are paid for with open open trades. Uh, sometimes they not. It, sometimes it takes a while to pay for them. Now you, you'll see that there are only this one's a little bit more conservative. There are only I think either nine or ten. Let's have a look at the bottom. There are nine open trades at the moment. The other one, which which is not paid for because it, it has a much bigger um, blanket of open trades because of the trend that was uh, involved. Um, let's see if I can get the open trade. Sometimes it doesn't. This one has 17 open trades. 17. So it's a, it's a lot more than the uh, the other one, and um, essentially these haven't been paid for by cashing in. But it. Uh, uh, we are uh, cashing in at, at one and a half thousand a day, so uh, it's, this is not a, a serious situation. We'll we'll catch up in in just uh, under two weeks. We'll be we'll have a blanket of paid for uh, open trades, which is fantastic. At that point, when you've got a blanket of open trade and the price bounces around in that range, then uh, you are literally printing money. But uh, this will all become a little bit more clear as we go along. I think, in fact, let me. Uh, just finish the, the website so you've got videos you can look at you've got a course that you can look at um, and I think those are the, the two things that, that that are quite important you can also uh, there are four ways of, of, of getting the the, the grid trend multiplier um, the, the, the first way is just an out, outright buy uh, that must probably be the best one because you can then um, optimize and test and do all kinds of other things uh, the other way of doing it is, is as I've said the PAM account so the PAM you would um, uh, um, uh, uh, just join a PAM account it's a minimum of 400 and we don't actually just issue you invest much more than that uh, uh, and there's a reason behind that but um, so you invest 400 and uh, uh, essentially um, your uh, account will be uh, traded for you using the grid trend 
multiply using different techniques. Every two weeks we use a slightly different technique um, there. The other way is, which has just happened actually literally uh, in the last hours, uh, last hour, is uh, you can actually get uh, the uh, um, EA free if you open a live funded account with any of our uh, brokers. So let's just see if I can get more detail on that. Thanks for that question. Um, uh, oops, that's not it. All right. Uh, essentially, we've got a, a list of um, brokers, uh, and uh, that's, that's not it at all. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Um, uh, we've got a list of brokers that you can uh, uh, access. Uh, I will send an email out today uh, with that link. And uh, you, uh, if you open an account, uh, a funded account with those brokers, we will give you the EA free because because we are so sure that it does well. And then the uh, the fourth way was a, a direct one with Telenex, but uh, uh, you can actually combine the two and two and four. So there's actually only three ways. Uh, there's nothing special about Telenex. Uh, it's the same. It's the same situation. And the beauty is, if you've already owned the um, the uh, EA, uh, we will actually repay you. So if you open this uh, this account with a broker, once you've pay, uh, once you've traded a certain volume, we will actually uh, refund your your purchase price to you. So it's uh, you know quite reasonable on that. Um, now uh, uh, and the this arrangement is not it's got nothing to do with a broker. All you have to do is open the account with a broker. Once you've done that. You actually just notify us, and we will give you the the EA. The broker doesn't give you the EA. They won't, they won't even know about the, the deal that we've struck with you. Uh, they uh, they'll only see an open account, and they'll they'll confirm that the account is linked to uh, to Expert Forex. Uh, they won't, they don't know about this deal at all. And once your account is linked to Expert Forex, and, uh, then we'll supply you the EA. So don't deal directly with the broker. You can um, deal directly with us. On Okay, so those are the ways you can get the, the, the GTM. You've, you've seen some live trading. I mean, these are, are um, uh, uh, live accounts that we're trading um, using the GTM. Uh, this information, um, these are real accounts, so, so we're not, um, you know, so these aren't demo things. Uh, we did, in fact, open a demo account, and I'll, I'll just show you under articles, under testing, We've got two um, demo accounts that have been running for 90 days, so they're not um, they're not um, you know just short-term uh, gains that we're going to be showing you. This has now been running for 19 days. Now, just to b show you the uh, strange thing about this particular technique is we went into a buy and a sell at the same time. So the buy, we had a buy account and a sell account and we ran both at the same time. Now you'd think, oh, if the price goes down, the uh, buy will be in a loss and the sell will be in a profit. But in fact, both these accounts have positive equity. Uh, that one is up 1,100 and then if we go to the sell account, you'll see a uh, positive equity of 5,000. So, so these two accounts have made um, roughly uh, six and a half thousand, if not seven thousand pips in three months. Now that's you know that's quite. I, I would be uh, I would be happy with with uh, four or five thousand pips in three uh, in, in a year. As these this, these accounts have made um, six six and a half thousand pips in uh, three months. But the big point is both the sell and the buy accounts are positive. So. It shows you uh, the power of the multiplier, and again, I'm using a term that I'll, I'll describe uh, later on. Uh, yes, um, if you do have an existing account uh, with one of those brokers, you may n it may not qualify for your. Um, for your free one, it, it has to be linked to us. Obviously, um, the reason why we're giving it to you free is that the broker is giving us a, a very small share of the of the um, uh, spread. In fact, it's not added to your spread; or you're paying that spread anyway. So they, they're giving me us a small, and we're happy that that small share will, over the years, uh, uh, repay us for the uh, um, EA. So. Um, 
but there's all kinds of internal arrangements that you need to be, uh, to be aware of. But okay, the main things on the on the on the um, uh, the, the website is how to buy it. Uh, um, the investment accounts you can have a look at at, at how the investment accounts work. The, the videos, the course. Um, there's some examples of trades, and uh, but, but it's actually better to look at the live accounts to see examples of trades. And then under articles, you can look at the testing. Uh, the other thing we did under the testing is that we had a whole lot of clients. Um, uh, oh, I think they were in the end about 30 or 40 clients that traded the continuous. And most of them, if you look at, just go, go down here, you'll see big gains but and a few losses, but small losses. And all of them traded buys and sells at the same time. So it's pretty um, uh, small loss, big gain. Small loss, uh, gain. So, so overall, uh, you, you know, we had so many clients testing this most of the clients, most, and I, I would say 80% uh, of them uh, turned out as pro positive. The ones that weren't positive were actually only, sm uh, there was only a small negative. So, uh, you know, it's, it's a pretty robust, robust system. And we did this so that we had some um, records of our clients actually trading it because it's, it's, it's point is us showing you how we're trading it. If the clients can't trade it, that's useless. So, so somebody like Martin, he made three, three and a half thousand pips in one month. You know, that's that's just phenomenal stuff. It's, it's amazing. All right, so let's have a look at how this actually all works. Um, and uh, how are we going to do that? Uh, let's see if this works. All right, there we go. All right, so I, I, I'm going to use this. Uh, um, sheet to or this slide to, to illustrate how the trend, the grid trend multiplier works. And it, I must say it's not rocket science. It is what I'm going to show you is how it works. It's not a black box system where you buy an ear and you don't know how it works. This is how it works. All we've done is we've automated the process because this can't be traded manually. You have to automate it. So uh, I'm going to take the so, so how the system it works is you, you decide on a direction that you want to trade. You, uh, you can either go and sell or buy, or you can go both. So let's in this example, we're going to take uh, the example of a trader that uh, decides that the market is going to go down, and he sets his uh, uh, um, system to trade down, and he sets his system to cash in every 10 pips that the market moves in his direction that he selected. So in other words, if, whenever the market sells, he will cash in 10% or 10, 10 pips. So, um, uh, and the EA will, in order for the EA to do that, it has to enter a sell every 10 pips where uh, that is covered by the price movement. Now, uh, uh, this is just a, um, a rough price movement that's happened. And in fact, this is more or less what's happened on the e uh, on the um, uh, euro yen yesterday. It started out at a point and went up and down, up and down, up and down. And uh, and uh, we cashed in a lot yesterday on the euro yen in, in terms of that. But, all right, so, so let's take a, a trader, Joe, who's now entered uh, a sell uh, every 10 pips, and that's how the EA works. It, it just cashes in every, t every, and you you can vary that 10 pips. You, know, you can make it 15, 20, 30, whatever you want it to be. So, so that's 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 the basic setting. So he he's entered a sell, but due to form, the market goes against him. So what would have happened is is he would have had a sell open there and a sell open there, and then the market went another 10 against him, and he would have had a sell open. So he, he would have had three sells open, and then luckily the market changes, and he he actually cashes in the sell that was opened where my cursor is, uh, was cashed in. And he made 10 pips, and then the next one was cashed in. Next one was cashed in. Again, a sell got opened there, um, and the one going down got cashed in. Then the market turned again, and at, when it's going in the opposite direction, it only opens trades. It doesn't um, um, cash in. So he's got a whole lot of sells that were opened on the way up, and then again on the way down, cashing in those those trades that were opened. 
and then the same thing happened again. All these trades got opened on the way up, and he cashed in on the way down, and and nothing had cashed in on the way up, and it cashed in on the way down. So at the end of the trading day, uh, he, he uh, the price stopped worse than he uh, started. He remember he wanted to sell downwards. The price actually stopped uh, 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 above. Um, his um, intended direction, but strange enough, if you add up all these cells, or all these cash ins that happen, I call them cash ins, when um, the uh, uh, trades are closed. If you add them all together, you get 160 pips or 106. Yeah, let's work on pips. 160 pips, and at that point, you have uh, one, two, three um, open trades. And the balance on that on this one would be minus 30. My balance on that one would be minus 20, and the balance of that one would be minus 10. So, so you add that together, you get minus 60. So, uh, this trader, Trader Joe, has made a hundred pip gain in spite of getting the trade completely wrong. In spite of he sold it, it only briefly went in his his. But he spent most of the time in the on the wrong side, and uh, I think a lot of people can identify this. You enter a trade and it just stays negative all the time. Uh, this is what happened to him, but he still made a hundred pips. So um, uh, uh, hopefully that will explain the concept that, that's involved. You uh, you you decide on a direction, it will cash in um, uh, all the trades in that particular direction, even. If it goes the other way, uh, so that's the one concept. The other concept is is obviously you have a a um, group of open trades. Uh, if the price moves um, away from uh, 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 the direction that you want to trade, so you'll always have a blanket of open trades, and those are the ones that you've just seen on the live accounts, where the where the one account had. 17 open trades, the other account had 9 open trades. So you always have a blanket of open trades. But the key is that you, uh, is to cash in more than the cost of your open. That's that's basically what happens. And what what we call that is we call this the multiplier effect. The multiplier effect says that you will have multiple cash ins at the same price level. So for instance, that price level down there was cashed in four times. Four times. That one was cashed in three times. That one was cashed in three times. That was only one one. Uh, so, so you get mu multiple cash in. Now that's the multiplier effect, and it is very very powerful. Okay, I just want to see is everybody um, uh, up to speed on, on what has hap what is happening right now. I'm happy with that example. Um, No questions so far. Okay, that's it. so I can carry on. Let's see if I can find. All right. So, so, so the multiplier. Let's let's talk a bit more about the multiplier effect. Um, the uh, whoop, I've got so many. Okay. So 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 last year we had a five thousand uh, dollar trading competition, and this year we have a, 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 another huge uh, trading competition, and. Um, we had the winner was, was uh, a guy called eBay, and um, he and this was a three-month trading competition. So um, it it ran for three months, and tra eBay only traded in one direction, and it was he only sold. Now the pip movement since starting was it went down uh, 250 pips, so it only went down 200. But, uh, but uh, this was misleading. It must probably went down. Um, or oh, 700 pips up, uh, uh, 700 down, and then 500 pips up. That's in fact what happened. Yeah, it's, it went about 700 pips down and and fi um, 200, uh, 500. Maybe maybe not that much. Maybe th four, four, 500 pips down and uh, 250 pips up. So that's more or less the movement that happened during this time. But the pips that he gained by cashing in using one lot in every, in, in every case, was 17,400. So by covering a, only a, a very small range, the, the, he in fact covered 70 times. So every, every single price level on, on average, and this is an, on average, was uh, cashed in 70 times during this competition. It is just, 
yeah, f the, the multiply effect cannot be overestimated how the price moves in a wavy fashion and allows you to cash in multiple times at the, um, uh, uh, the, the, on, on the particular price level. Um, right, so, so uh, should, uh, sorry, a question that's going, should you also be making money going up? Um, uh, it's a bit of a vague question that because it depends if you point yourself in the up, up direction. So if you, if you decide the price is going up and you point yourself, then you've got a good chance of, uh, as we've seen, you can actually point yourself in the wrong direction and still make money if the price is going up. Or the other, uh, other alternative is to not worry about the direction of price and just go into a buy and a sell. So the, the are the three alternatives that you can do. You can either go into just a sell, just a buy, or you can do both. This is an example of somebody going into um, just a sell. Uh, and the other live examples that I've shown you, uh, they, okay, I've, sh I've shown you three examples. Uh, there, the traders went into buys and sells at the same time. Can uh, can you comment on back testing with the EA? Uh, well, the um, EA can be back tested, optimized. The grid sizes can be optimized. In other words, you can decide whether your grid size should be ten or, or fifteen or seventeen, or whatever. you can uh, certainly optimize. It. it takes a bit of skill to do that kind of back testing, uh, but certainly the EA can be back tested, optimized, and and um, um, traded in that way. Um, all right, okay, uh, the other um, question that's just come in, and uh, I'll see if I can answer that, and uh, I'll see if I can. Um, now, one of the costs of, op of having open deals is uh, the, uh, uh, I'm just going to point out the implications here. One of the costs of having open deals is the margin in use. So in other words, if you've got an open deal, you've actually got to fund it, not only the loss of that deal, but you've also got to fund the margin. Now, because this, de this uh, technique uh, li um, works best if you have a lot of open deals, uh, um, your margin use becomes quite high and we and I think this particular account has got a hundred to one margin use uh, which is not very efficient we suggest that you use a 400 to one if you cannot get 400 to one suggest you don't even trade this technique 100 to one is, is a little bit uh, you, your margin requirements are going to um, outweigh uh, or, or, or strain your account uh, um, this particular one, uh, the two accounts that you see here are actually diff different types of accounts. We've done that on purpose to test that. This one's got four, uh, 500 to 1, and this one's got 100 to 1, and, and uh, uh, the margin requirements can, be, can get pretty high. Uh, so um, all we're suggesting is use the highest uh, uh, um, leverage that you can so that you don't get uh, into trouble with uh, margin requirements. That's, I mean, that... That, those margin requirements are quite high compared to the, 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 the cash-ins that have occurred. And uh, so the, the, that becomes a big factor. If you add the loss and the margin required, you, you mean you, you, you need to finance $10,000. Uh, if, if this account was using uh, 500 to 1, um, clearly that would only be $800, $800 which is a, a huge difference. So uh, uh, thanks for that question, a very, a very uh, good question. I might not have mentioned that, but we certainly do um, suggest that you use anything from 400 to 1 upwards. <clears throat> Does putting any pending orders bring out the broker's intervention? All right, now the, uh, the other thing, uh, th thanks for that question, Sam. The other thing is, uh, technically, and I'm, answer, I'm answering support questions as I'm going along, technically this EA has been uh, designed to react to selling prices only. So in other words, uh, all, everything that happens on, on, on the, uh, <coughs> uh, uh, during trading uh, uh, is related to selling prices. So we would close a transaction when the selling price reaches a certain point and that type of thing. What that does is it, it, it uh, um, 
eliminates a lot of uh, 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 almost false uh, transactions when there is uh, spread widening happens before announcements or over weekends and all kinds of things. So um, just from um, Just see. Um, let's look at a practical example. Uh, orders. Uh, we'll go to closed orders, and we'll go to um, the end. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> So here we are using a, a gap of 27, I think it is, and you can see the cashed in levels are more or less around, they're not, look, they vary because of uh, spread, um, inconsistent spread by the brokers. You can get, uh, but it, it, sometimes it's in your favor, there's a 30, and then sometimes it's, it's not in your favor, there's a 24. But you can see more or less, the um, the pips that are gained are more or less cons consistent, so they're not affected by spread widening or weekends and things like that. So um, that's to answer your question uh, indirectly. Um, the, the, the EA is written in such a way that uh, it, uh, it doesn't overreact to uh, spread widening and things like that. <coughs> so so pending orders don't play a role. In fact. The, 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 the system doesn't use pending. Uh, it's, theoretically, it's using pending order, but it, the EA is managing the, the trade, so that's um, that's how it works. All right, so um, we've covered the multiplier effect. We've covered the fact, uh, the, the, the the mechanical way that this uh, EA trades. Um, uh, so, and we've also covered that you can trade it in a buy and a sell direction at the same time and still make money um, and uh, in this particular case you can see uh, sells, buy, sells, go, then it goes through a sell phase, then it goes through a buy phase and and, and so on. So that, that's why the multiply effect is so good. You can see uh, there's quite a, a balance of buy and sells going on. So every time the price moves us, uh, 20, 27 pips up, we'll cash in 27 down, cash in, so that's the multiply effect working. Let's have a look, um, and I think that's that covers uh, the uh, introduction to this EA quite thoroughly. What um, what I do cover in in the more advanced webinars, and there are two of them uh, later on this week, is specifically the one direction uh, trading technique and then specifically the double direction uh, trading technique because there are risk control settings that you can use to con to manage risk in, in, in certain ways. For instance, um, if you are trading cells and you're a bit nervous about the market going against you, you can actually increase the gaps the number of, or, or, or the, the size of the gap, so you could go from 10 to 20 to 30 to, you know, uh, to 40, uh, you can increase the size of the gaps if the market goes uh, against you. Um, you can, there's even stop outs you can put on your, or your, your trades, you can have maximum open trades, um, you can have uh, things we call pruning, you can prune your open trades, you can uh, balance your open trades, there's a whole lot of risk control techniques which I'm not going to cover because it's, it's pr they're pretty advanced uh, and uh, they, they relate specifically to whether you're trading um, one direction or you're trading, trading two directions, but certainly those, uh, there are risk control methods that prevent you from, um, from um, let's say, getting into trouble with this technique. Uh, the, the biggest factor that, that um, uh, affects the trading technique is, is in fact the currency that you use and the size of the gap. You've got to use a currency uh, your, your, the size of your gap must relate to the currency that you use. And in order to give you a, a feel of that, let's go to um, course and let's, let's go to the, the suggested settings and you'll get a feel of that uh, when I talk about the suggested settings. <coughs> right, there we are. So, so 
the, the settings relate to how volatile the currency is. So what we've done is we grouped the currencies as group one, group two, and group three. So the high, um, um, the, the low uh, low volatility currencies are grouped, the, um, the uh, medium volatility currency, and then the high volatility currencies are grouped. Now the, the higher the volatility, the bigger the gap needs to be, and the lower, the lower the, the gap. So, th so that's a very easy Thing and we uh, we've given you the currencies that fall into those gaps. Um, then um, uh, then you also need to look at the overall um, range that the currency is tr trading in, uh, um, and that that is also covered in in, in the future w w webinars. And then we actually say um, if you're going to be trading um, uh, a high frequency cash, uh, so so this is a higher risk. Uh, um, currency, but it says the currency is to use not recommend, not recommend this particular setting. So we actually give you all the settings that um, are applicable to this particular technique. We say not recommended for group three, uh, aggressive for group two, and best for not, uh, group one. And we say uh, minimum of four hundred dollars at one at uh, uh, one micro lot, and uh, the type of range that you should be looking at, and that type of thing. So we give you a whole lot of, and then if you want to be a bit more more aggressive, then we say, okay, you can be a bit more aggressive. Uh, this particular strategy, the settings that we've got here, covers. Uh, uh, you need a slightly bigger account. Uh, you need to cover a bigger range, and uh, you will get a margin call if if the currency trades uh, over seven hundred pips. So if it trends over seven hundred pips. Um, you will get a margin call. So the philosophy of this trading technique is use the smallest possible account that you can because there is a chance of um, a margin call. So a lot of people think, oh, the bigger my account, the, 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 the less chance of a margin call. We say, no, use the smallest account you can with the appropriate lot sizing so that if there is a chance of a margin call, you've only lost uh, you know, the, the smallest amount. You know, it, you know, a lot of people go and throw throw in two thousand uh, dollars and think that, that they've re decreased their risk. Uh, doesn't quite work that way. Um, and then it, we also say which which groups. And then we've got a uh, another strategy that we've uh, another strategy here. We're very aggressive using the high volatility currencies, you need more money in your account, you need to cover a much bigger trading range and your possible margin call is much bigger. So we, we, we've given you some um, uh, suggested trading um, techniques and here's uh, another one for um, more experienced traders uh, where you can, what is this one? Oh, where you can vary your lot sizing depending, if you think it's going to sell then you have um, uh, smaller lots in fact going down and you have bigger lots going up so so uh, but the idea is really uh, to treat it as a random trading technique don't treat it uh, I don't like treating the uh, trading the direction based technique it's best to use it as a random trading technique okay uh, so that also covers that aspect thanks for that question it gives you a feel of uh, you can't just plug any 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 currency in and and use any kind of uh, uh, um, gearing and things like that. You need to be very specific about the gearing you use, the range that you're anticipating, how many open trades you are anticipating, and, and that type of thing. And, uh, and But that's given to you. And in fact, we, we almost are using these techniques in the PAM services. All right, so I'm just going to go back to the uh, questions. I haven't answered them. Um, uh, some currencies are included in two groups. Does that reflect whether they are trading conservatively or aggressively? All right. So, so, so where you'll see some currencies um, uh, included in uh, the two groups, you need to decide whether, uh, like the euro yen is in, I think, group two and in group three. So the euro yen goes through phases where it's not volatile, and it goes through phases where it is volatile. That's a decision you need to do. If you view the um, the uh, euro yen as volatile, then you, group, uh, you you need to group it as that. If you view it as not volatile, and and it, it does change. I mean, the market does change. You can't classify uh, a currency 
um, you know, sometimes the currencies trade strongly, sometimes they consolidate, um, and that's why we've got some currencies in the same group. And, uh, you know, um, most of the work in, in this particular EA is, is, is deciding the, on which currency you tr you are going to trade, what kind of range you're going to have, and what kind of uh, grid size you're going to use. Once you've done that, you essentially plug in and forget um, uh, because most of the risk management is automated and um, and you just uh, and uh, and you treat this this is you treat this as an investment rather than a trading technique so in other words uh, give it two two to three weeks for it to build up a nice blanket of open trades and um, and then you just uh, leave it you, you, you literally just uh, leave it again I'm uh, I um, I need to just quickly show you this one. Um, um, you see, this is this has established its open open trades. It might grow; the, that number might grow because it might open more and more. Uh, but because it's got a big grid size of 27, uh, it has to move quite a lot to 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 increase the range. Uh, it, the 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 the, the um, range is paid for by by closed trade, so that's pretty good. So what this means is that if the price stays within that range that we have there, it is literally printing money. It's, it's actually, there's no cost. It's, <laughs> the multiplier is just printing, printing, printing money, and that's what we're hoping for is that uh, the, um, uh, the price stays within that. And, and the range that, we, that this one is in is about, I think, 240 pips. So if this, if it goes more, if it goes to 280 or, or 300, uh, this this will increase slightly the floating opening price. Would, but at the same time, this will also increase. So uh, that's exactly. So your 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 range of possible price movement increases. And but but certainly, if it does start trending, and it actually trends, let's say a thousand pips. Uh, there is a chance of a margin call, so you've got to do that. So, so the philosophy of of this technique, and what's going to happen with this group here is that at the end of this week we might declare a dividend. So, what you do is when you're positive and you've paid for your 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 blanket, what, that positive part is actually sheer profit, and you can withdraw it. So, we actually say to people, draw your money out if you've got excess cash draw it out and that's what we'll do we'll most probably declare a dividend and and pay that out to our, our investors and that's what you should do when you're also trading is is, uh, is when you're nicely positive let's say you made a 10 percent gain on your capital at the moment the gain is, is not 10 percent but at the end of the week if it stays within that range uh, it could uh, it could get there so um you would then pay a dividend of 10 percent out and therefore you only 90 percent of your capital is at risk now and not a 100. All right, a uh, question that's coming. What are your thoughts on increasing lot sizes with increased uh, equity levels? Um, uh, I think I've answered that with the other, uh, the other comment I've made. If you have increased equity levels, pull the money out. Don't, inc don't um, increase your lot sizes. Rather, just pull it out. Um, uh, and the sooner you can get to a risk free situation where you have declared dividends of a hundred percent of your your capital that 's the ideal side because then what have you got to lose nothing then your account can just run and run and run until it gets a margin call literally because if it gets a margin you 're not going to lose anything you 've already got your money back in the bank uh, and and every single every single uh, cash in is sheer profit for you. So you let it run, you withdraw the excess, you let it run and withdraw, and then suddenly it will start trending a uh, thousand pips, and you say, okay, well, I've had my margin call, uh, but I've got 120 or 130 percent, or I've got my money back plus, let's say, 30 or 40 percent. That's the philosophy behind this trading thing. It's it's quite a lot different to normal trading. You know, it's it's not a a normal trading technique. It's more an investment type of. So thanks for that qu uh, that question. Rather than increasing your lot size uh, when you're ma making good profits, rather draw it out. Just draw it out. 
there, there are a few exceptions to that, Doug. There are, uh, there are exceptions, but in general, I would encourage you to draw your money out. Um, uh, then the follow up on, on your comment that you made above, you say that way one's account would grow to allow a better income. That's not the objective of this thing. The, the, the objective is the, the stages. The first stage is build up a, a, a blanket that is funded by closed deals. That's the first stage. Second stage is, is start generating surplus uh, funds, uh, surplus gains, um, uh, um, more than you need to finance your blanket. Then withdraw the funds. Uh, and then the third, the, the, the third phase is abandon the th Just leave it to run and run. After you've withdrawn... Uh, um, a hundred percent of your your you can just you can literally ab abandon and just withdraw surplus funds all the time. So those are the three phases we're looking at. Uh, uh, don't try and squeeze blood out of this particular. If you want to if you, if you want to rather start another PAM account and and that's why we have groups of PAM accounts starting. You start one and you just let it run until it gets a, 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 a margin call. You start another one, and and hopefully the withdrawals will. Um, get, but but don't fool around with the one. Don't try and um, uh, increase your risk. For instance, uh, by increasing the lot sizing in your one, uh, it could actually backfire on you uh, quite badly. All right, so let's have a look. Uh, Okay, so uh, uh, Mohammed, thanks for that uh, comment that you made. Uh, uh, where you have, let's see. All right, uh, thanks for sending that in. I'm, I'm actually going to see if I can. Um, oh, I can't seem to copy your your link that you've sent through. Uh, one of the uh, attendees has just sent a link of his own. Do you mind if I actually show the link? Um, I'll, uh, uh, Mohammed, just confirm that you don't mind me showing your link uh, uh, here. Um, I'll just go and see if I can actually get it. Uh, it is empty. I'll have to enter it manually. Apologies for this. I think it's user. Uh, Oh, so I, I need to filter. All right, so I'll do that. That's fine. From, um, all right, I'm not quite sure if this is going to work, but uh, what we're going to do is, is this is not un, un, uh, scheduled, but uh, one of the, the attendees have, has actually got a live example where he's made no user called. All right, as was. Oh, two, two S's. Let's see if I can get rid of that one S. No. Alright. Uh, alright, so, uh, 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 right, so in terms of closed deals, alright, now this account, I don't, I'm not quite sure when. Oh, I've got to filter it. Okay, sorry. Uh, you said I need to filter it um, from um, the eighth. Filter. Oops. Eighth. Right. So it sounds like there was something else before this particular. Right. Um, what has happened with this particular one is, and I'll just have a quick. All right, sorry, uh, I didn't. Uh, uh, the, this is a slight deviation. I'm just getting some messages from a slight deviation. But essentially, what's happened on this particular account is, uh, um, it um, it has uh, closed 106 dollars and 
uh, but it still has a, a, a um, open open trades of two two hundred and fifty. So it is still bull. It, it, this part has to start paying for that part. So as I say, there's the the first phase is where you, it, and it does go negative. You, there's no there's no question about it. Um, the uh, first phase is where you're building up your blanket of open trades. Your second phase is where you you start cashing in without any extra cost, and uh, you then pay for your open deals and create. So so this account is still um, well starting on the eighth. It's still about three weeks old. So it's it's still in the um, paying for the open deals phase. I'm not going to show too much more of that. All right, but thanks for sharing that. There's there's quite a few uh, that have started. Um, the other thing is, uh, if you look at at your deals, you are using roughly a f a fifteen pip a fifteen pip um, gap. Now, if we look at the uh, uh -huh. so, Find it, 15 pip gap. So if we look at the course and we uh, go to the um, suggested suggested um, settings, you'll find that the euro yen can fluctuate between group three and group two. Um, in the last, I would say the period that you actually traded it, it was actually a group three currency. And now the group three currency says you've got to have big gaps um, for, for, for a group three cu currency. So um, let's have a look. So this particular uh, setting with a, group, a, a gap of 30 is, is regarded as um, aggressive for group three, uh, uh, but best for group two. So you've got a, a, a gap of 15. 15 is only recommended for, uh, um, it's not recommended for group three. So in, uh, in fact, your currency choice was very aggressive, extremely. Uh, 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 15 pips is, is, is not recommended for group three. It's uh, very aggressive for group two. So Again, I'm coming back to you need to do a bit of homework on your currency selection, your grid sizing. Uh, we do go into that in a lot more detail in the follow-up webinars where we uh, help you uh, with determining your grid sizing. But but just from the suggested, you can see that uh, you are using a very aggressive technique. Uh, very aggressive is good. You're either going to make money or you're going to have a margin call. You, uh, or you, you're either going to make lots of money or you're going to have a margin call. That's that that that's that's the story of, of if you um, if you decide to go very aggressive but you can see that that's uh, thanks for seeing that account in it I think we've learned a lot from it um, in future I would suggest that you use a, a, a grid size of either 30 for the the um, euro yen or you use a different currency like 15 would be perfect for the year uh, for the uh, the USD. USD. So uh, the USD currently, in fact, I could almost put that it up there. Uh, it, the USD is a medium range, so yeah, you would have done better using the USD than the Euro Yen, which is much more volatile. Okay, thanks for sending that in, Mohammed, and I hope that helps, and I hope uh, everybody in the webinar has. Uh, Oh, okay, Doug. I didn't. I didn't actually see that. Let's have a look. Uh, so you, you've got different. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, the, 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 you, you see, this is this account. The other thing is, when you use an account, um, it must be exclusive for what you're trading. Uh, it looks like there was some manual trades made here. Um, so disregard that. That's uh, fair enough. There. It looks like there's been a few uh, manual trades done, uh, so best not to read too much into it.
yeah, it's, uh, it's also best to uh, keep your accounts. Um, if you if you want to do your own trading, just go and open another account. The broker doesn't matter, uh, doesn't mind. You just go and open another broker account and do your own trading. Don't confuse uh, the two because they can affect each other. Uh, that account has buys and sells. Yes, it is a it is a a, a random or non-directional account. So. Um, so just exactly the same as uh, the other accounts that, that that I showed you that we are trading at the moment. Now, having said that the Euro Yen is very aggressive at 15 pips. In fact, our first PAM, uh, our first PAM account, in fact, had that. And uh, that is why it's also suffered the same fate in that uh, we traded it very aggressively uh, in a, um, and, and it started trending it had a very strong trend in two or two days it trended over 200 pips so um, um, if, 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 if you look at the two PAM accounts uh, that are that, that there are the first one had a gap size of 15 pips uh, and uh, the second one had a gap size of 27 pips so uh, certainly the second one is, is is less aggressive. The other other thing that we did with the second one is we traded one lot per eight hundred dollars, uh, and this one we traded one lot per, per four hundred dollars. So the, so this one is is uh, very aggressive. Um, unfortunately, it did suffer that uh, tr that, tr and uh, there's a lot of making up to be done here. But it's it's not a train smash. If it stays within this range, uh, it will be made up in about seven or eight days. All right, let's have a look. Any any questions? I think we've basically, uh, we've covered quite a lot of ground. I think we've given you a feel of, of what this technique does. Um, it is set and forget if you use the, um, uh, well, it's set and forget for any any technique. Uh, the, uh, what, the single direction technique is a little bit more risky. Um, and let me just see if I can get that on the, one of the things that you've got to, be aware of is that if you start here and you start selling and here's your grid that you're using and uh, you cash in cash in cash in cash in going down you're only going to cash in now I'm ignoring the the, the multiplier because the multiplier just blows these calculations out the water but at worst if the if the currency goes down 50 pips with uh, in a single trend you're only going to make 50 uh, pips but if you've got it wrong your loss will be 150 because your uh, losing trades actually uh, are cumulative. They're not quite exponential, but they're cumulative and they actually build up quite a lot. So the, here's the risk. Uh, this system will not work well if you are using a trending currency. If you if the if you actually see, you've got a good feel of the market and you can see the market's about to trend, then you then rather go the one directional uh, way and trend and, and, and use a one directional in the direction of the trend. It, um, um, it, but if it's consolidating and trading within a range, and some of these ranges are big, like 600 pips, then you can still um, uh, use the, the double direction uh, method. Just a, a general guide is, if you look at the chart and you see that the currency, a reasonable range for the currency would be, let's say, 600 pips, and you are happy with 200, uh, with 20 open deals. So the the range on the chart looks like the the currency is trading within a range of 600 pips. You're happy with two, 20 open deals, then you just divide 600 by 20 and you get your grid size of 30. That's that's a, a general guideline, and that's what I would suggest you do. Is is, is um, uh, so if you look at the chart, you see the range looking like that, and you say, oh, "I'm happy with 20, 20 open deals." Then uh, you just divide, it and you get a grid size of thirty, and that's what you trade. And and, and that's must probably the um, lowest risk. It's the lowest risk type of way of trading. Um, bear in mind, the bigger your gap the fewer times you're going to be cashing in. All right, okay, I think uh, if there are any questions, uh, if you could send them through in the next um, uh, few minutes, 
Uh, I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have. Um, I hope I've answered all the other questions. Questions come in. Um, do you advise to use 20% setting on the EA or should you simply watch the and decide when to withdraw? Oh no. Um, the value of building open trades, that carpet that you've built up, uh, is quite important. So when you have made a gain of 20%, let's say, on your account, don't cash that the deal, uh, the, in other words, close all the deals and walk away with your 20. That, that's, you could most probably do that if you're happy with 20%. But if you, when you close that deal, it means you've got to open, you've got to go through phase one and phase two and phase three again to reach that point. And that can take six to eight weeks. So I wouldn't suggest that, well, you'd, you'd have to evaluate the, the situation at that particular time. But um, I wouldn't suggest that you ever close your blanket of open trades. Uh, let the market close them for you with a margin call. I would suggest that um, that you continue that and physically just draw out the 20% gain that you've made in cash. Um, uh, obviously, you need to use your judgment. If you're happy, if you have made... Um, an 80% gain in two months, which which is what uh, the, the one account did, 80% gain in two months, and you think, hell, that, that's all I wanted for a year, and I've made 80% in, in two months, you can, of course, close the account and um, go, you know, do other things. Um, but if you, con if you want to continue trading, I wouldn't suggest, I'd rather just withdraw, physically withdraw the surplus funds. Don't cl ever close that blanket of trades. All right, thanks for that question and remark. All right, I, th I think it, it sounds like I've uh, covered most of the questions. Um, and uh, thank you for your attendance. I hope I've given you a good idea of uh, the, uh, grid, uh, the grid trend multiplier. Very powerful t uh, uh, EA. It ha it ha the one weakness that it has is that it, uh, it if the market trends severely, you could uh, experience a market a mar margin call. But I do have a strategy in the training where it says what you do is if, if you've got a thousand dollar or thousand dollars, let's take a ten thousand. If you've got ten thousand dollars to invest, don't invest all of that ten thousand in one um, trend multiplier account. What you do is you break them, uh, break it up into far into uh, twenty percent bits. So you would put two thousand dollars in an account. Keep the other eight thousand in your bank, and let that two thousand either double or get a margin call. If it doubles, you just add it to your 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 capital and start again. If it um, um, has a margin call. Uh, you then take what's left, the 8,000, you apply 20% to that, that's 1,600, and you start a new account and apply the same philosophy. It's either going to double or or, or, um, or get a margin call. The, the, the chances of a margin call are actually very low because of the multiplier, but certainly it is possible if there's a, if there's a huge 1,000 pip trend, you, you're just not going to make it. It's just going to wipe you out. But if it stays within a range of, let's say, 400 pips, you at, at some stage, and, and it's the most wonderful thing, is it just starts printing money, and it prints money, prints money, prints money, and you, you, you just... So that's what you're trying to set up. You're trying to set up a, um, a, an account that will just start printing money. But you don't want to risk all your 10,000. You only want to risk 2,000 or 20% of your, your capital. So, so people say, oh... How can you be so blasé about margin calls? Margin calls are reality. You just, um, you know, just live with it. If you've got an account that's already paid you back 150, there's two choices: you close the whole thing, or you just let it print money, continue printing money for you. Um, all right. So let's see if there's anything else. Once the trade gap is entered into on the EA, does it uh, put each trade on? Yes, that, that, that's the whole point of this EA, is that once you've determined your gap, it will automatically open trades 
um, um, using that particular gap. So uh, that, that, that is the benefit of this is that you don't have to manually do it. The EA will do that. All right. Uh, so, so the philosophy, yes, is effectively use the margin call as a stop. Uh, that is certainly the mo for, for, you know you. What we what we found is that it is best to set the the account up, let it run, and the less you interfere with it, the fewer times you interfere with it, the better. Let it either succeed or fail. You just that's all. It's that's it's a bit of a strange. Uh, forex trading technique, but in effect, that's what you do with it. when you put it on any trade. You, you you give it enough room to succeed or fail. And uh, what we're saying is that you just do it with this particular one. It it has a it has a, f a, f a four in one chance of succeeding. So that's what you do is you you do your homework as best you can. Decide on 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 the on the range that you're going to be. Uh, regarding as a safety range, it's the side on the grid size that you can regard as safe. Put it in, set and forget, move on to something else. Uh, is it possible to change the settings uh, d uh, during a period of open trades without affecting the open trades, uh, like for instance changing the... Yes, you can do that. Uh, if you change the gap size, it will... Uh, the next transaction will effectively have a, big, a bigger gap size. Uh, again, I would strongly recommend no interference whatsoever. Just set it up, let it go, and run. You know, d d and, and let it fail or succeed. Don't over-manage it. I know we've got a whole lot of risk management tools that you can do, increasing the gap size. We found that every single thing that you do actually decreases the effectiveness of the multiplier. And the multiplier, in fact, is what saves you. Uh, uh, bef before any big trend, there's always a consolidation period before the trend, then the trend happens, and then there's a consolidation or a reversal after the trend. So if you look at the overall market, that's, uh, that, that's, that's what happens. And trends only happen about 16 to 20% of the time. So um, that, is, that is why I say it has a... a, a, a a um, four and five time. Uh, even the ones that go through the trend, because there was a consolidation before, uh, and and there's a consolidation after, uh, can recover. Sometimes they take two months to recover. Sometimes they take a, a month to recover. But they can recover and then go on printing money. And and uh, the the key word when using this technique is patience. You just got to then oh, oh this this account's in trouble. You just leave it and leave it, and and um, this euro, uh, the, the the first payment account is in, in in a little bit of trouble. We're just going to leave it and leave it. It's either going to succeed or 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 not. Uh, it's only um, six days away from breaking even, so it's not uh, because the nice thing about this is that we know that that particular account cashes in a thousand dollars every day. We just know that. In fact, yesterday it cashed in one and a half, but then on quiet days it cashes in less. So so um, knowing that you're getting a, a one and a half thousand or so coming in every day is a, a huge, um, uh, huge thing to know, uh, and so that if you like, like in the case of now that it's about eight thousand down, you know that it's that's only that only represents about uh, six days of trading. Um, is the G, uh, GTM similar or the same as the uh, double in a day? No, they're completely different. The double in a day uh, is a top-up EA, which allows you to um, top up on successful trades in such a way that you don't increase your risk. There's no risk increased by, by topping up, and it allows you to d double your account in, in, a, in, a good, um, in a good trade. The GTM is an investment type uh, method uh, where you leave your account for, uh, you have a small account and you leave it for um, however long you want to leave it um, and it will produce the goodies for you. All right, so again, sorry, I'm going over, I've gone a little bit over today, uh, apologies for that, but um, uh, I hope you've uh, got a lot of information out of this webinar. 
And thank you very much for all your questions. And uh, Mohammed, thanks for giving that example. And uh, cheerio from me, Alex Deploy, Expert Forex. Cheerio. Bye.